Hi, this is Langston Barley of the Kids Segment of Motivational Monday. And today we'll be starting a new lesson. We'll be starting for the next couple of weeks on Joshua. Joshua was a prophet of God. God called him after Moses had died. And now he is going to lead the Israelites into the promised land because Moses wasn't able to enter it. So it's now time that he needs to think of a plan to get into the promised land because Jericho is the promised land. So they have to try to get inside the promised land. So before we start, I'd like to tell you to go inside the Joshua chapters 1 and 2. And if you have a kid's Bible, you can go to either those pages. Or if you don't have a Bible, you can either borrow one or you can go to the store and buy one. Now let me give you the story. This first part of Joshua. Joshua is thinking to how he's going to get into the promised land. He sends in two spies to go and find out what they were planning in the city. The Bible doesn't tell us the spy's name. It just tells us that there was two spies. So at night, the spies go into the city and they find a house where they meet a woman named Rahab. There Rahab Rahab sees some guards coming to her house. She hides the men in some hay that she kept on a roof to dry. Soon she opened the door for the men, and they told her to show her where the spies were. She told them that the spies were going, they had left and were going. She told them that they could catch up with them at sundown, and after that, God, they left. Rahab could have done something else. She could have just told them where they were. But instead, she decided to love her enemies. And since she did that, God will bless her many, many in the future. So after that, the spies said thank you to Rahab. And Rahab told them to promise her that she and her family will be able to be safe during the battle of Jericho because she knew that even though that everyone else would be destroyed, that even her family, God had given the Israelites the city. So she knew that if she had given them the city, her people didn't deserve it. Her people were very wicked. But instead, she decided to help them anyway. So the spies promised her peace. So after that, they left Rahab's home. She gave them a red rope that they could climb down on. And the rope, is the spies told Rahab that she would have to pull it up when the battle started so that she, she and her family would be safe that day. So after that, they came back to Joshua's camp. And after that, Joshua found out everything that the spies had seen. And now God would, all they had to do was just find out what's going on, get to the city, take over the city, and they will have the freedom. I also like to give you some advice from the story like we did with the last days of Moses. Joshua and Moses were both leaders, but they both have to realize, They Moses realized at one point, and soon Joshua would realize at one point, that being a leader is a great responsibility. It takes courage and bravery. After that, I'd like to give you something else. When someone gives you something when you don't deserve it, you should say thank you because they're offering me something when you probably don't even need it. Then, for last, when someone gives you something, you should probably return something back as a gift. You That way, you'd be showing kindness like that person did to you. So, thank you for watching this video. 
I hope that soon you will be able to watch my other videos and hit subscribe when you're when I finish this video. So that way you can you can watch all these other videos that I pack. Have a good day. Bye.